Hello everyone, this is Dr. E, and for today we're going to uh, define the quadratic function given by the parts of our parabola. One of the important skills that we learn in mathematics is we learn how to do things and we also learn how to undo things in mathematics. And that is what we're going to be working on in our problem set for today, which is finding the equation of our parabola by looking at the graph of our quadratic function. So in this particular equation, we're going to be using the vertex form of our quadratic equation given by a quantity x minus h squared plus k, wherein hk represents the vertex of our parabola. So you're seeing the parabola in this particular uh, general form of this parabola opening upward, and our vertex is at hk. And to identify the vertex, always keep in mind that it's the opposite of h and k so that we're not going to get confused on the value of the vertex that we are looking for. Because if we have y is equal to 1 quantity x plus 3 squared minus 4, where h and k is the vertex, our vertex here would be opposite of positive 3, which is negative 3, and negative 4 because the formula is giving us plus k, which is just the value of k that we have in our equation. So the vertex of this quadratic equation, this particular quadratic equation, is going to be at negative 4 and negative 4. And if we're going to graph this particular equation, our graph of this parabola on its vertex form is right there in our screen right now. So to be able to change the vertex form of the parabola into its standard form, which is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, all we need to do is to expand our square of binomial, which is x plus 3. And to expand x plus 3 quantity square, we have a lot of ways in, we, in which we can expand this. We can FOIL it out as x plus 3 times x plus 3. So we multiply this term and this term and this term. And this is the FOIL method that we all know. Or we can also do it vertically, x plus 3, x plus 3. So we have x times x. We have x times 3, 3 times x. And then 3 times 3, which is 9. And this is now the product of our square of binomial. But in my case, whenever I see x plus 3 quantity square, what I do is I just square this term right here, my first term, x squared, and then add my second term, which is 3, and 3 plus 3 is equal to 6, so that will be my 6x, and then 3 times 3 is going to be 9, and that will be my last term or my constant term. So that is how we expand x plus 3 quantity square. So that's why in this particular example, our expanded form for x plus 3 squared, if we are going to find the standard form of this parabola, will give us x squared plus 6x plus 9, which is the expanded form of our binomial raised to the second power, minus 4. And if we sub or distribute the value of 1 to our quadratic equation, it will still be x squared plus 6x plus 9. And using the associative property, we can now combine 9 and negative 4. So the standard form of this parabola is x squared plus 6x plus 5. So this is how we convert the vertex form into its standard form, which we're going to be using in this particular problem that we're going to be working on today, changing the vertex form of the parabola into its standard form by looking at the graph that is given in our function. So now we are not seeing the equation of the parabola, but we are seeing the graph of the parabola. And in mathematics, the more clues we have, the easier it is for us to answer a particular problem. And in this particular case, the first clue is 
we have the graph of the parabola opening upward. So we know that our quadratic term is going to be positive, but we need more information to be able to answer this. And in this example, we are given the vertex of our parabola, which is at 1 and 2. So this is the vertex of the first quadrant. And then we're also given this point in our parabola, which is the y-intercept given by 0 and 3. And now that we have these two points, we're now ready to use our vertex form because we have the vertex and we have a point in our parabola. We can easily find the value of or the equation of the parabola that we're going to be working on by replacing our h, our k, our y, and our x in this particular example. So now that we have all these constants and variables in our equation, what we are left with is the value of a. So by replacing all those letters with the corresponding values that we have in this parabola, we can now simplify our equation. So 0 minus 1 is negative 1, and negative 1 squared is equal to 1. So now we have 3 times a times 1 plus 2. By uh, getting rid of positive 2 on the right side of the equation, we subtract 2 on both sides. So now we have a by itself, which is equal to 1. So now we have our missing variable, which is a. So we're now ready to convert our vertex form into y equals 1 quantity x minus 1 squared plus 2. So in our vertex form, the y and the x will remain because now we're looking for the equation of our parabola. And by doing so, all we need to do now is to expand our binomial. And let's do it right here. So the expansion of x minus 1 squared will give us y equals 1 times x squared, negative 1 minus 1 is going to be negative 2x plus 1, and that will be the expanded form plus 2. So we have y equals, we distribute this to our equation, and we'll have x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus 2. And using the associative property, all we need to do is get rid of our parentheses and end up combining our common term, which is 1 and 2. So our standard form is y equals x squared minus 2x plus 3, given by this graph. And verifying it, we are now looking at x squared minus 2x plus 3, which is the standard form of our parabola given the vertex and the y-intercept. And to be able to verify if our answer is correct, what we can do is use technology to verify if our answer is indeed similar to what we have just calculated. So the given vertex form of our parabola is 1 quantity x minus 1 squared plus 2 given by the vertex right here and the point right here which was given a while ago. So now that we know that our parabola was constructed correctly on its vertex form, let's verify if the standard form that we calculated is also correct. And using Desmos, we'll be able to see that the graph that we have from the vertex form to the standard form is just the same, and it's overlapping because they are pretty much the same graph of parabola that we are seeing in our function. So Desmos, can help you verify if your answer is correct. If uh, there's no one around that you can uh, verify your answer with, decimals will be your math help for this particular problem. So let's work with the second equation that we're going to be analyzing. And in this case, our parabola is still opening upwards. And this parabola was given by its vertex at negative 2 and negative 4. And we're also given one of the solutions or one of the x-intercept of our parabola, which is at negative 3 and 0. And to complete the work, we are going to start with finding the missing constant in our vertex form. And we know that the vertex form is given by y equals a quantity x minus h squared plus k. We know that we can replace h by negative 2. We can replace k by negative 4. We can replace x by negative 3. 
and we can replace y with 0, giving us this equation that we can simplify. Now we're ready to find the value of a. Negative 3 plus 4 is going to give us positive 1, and we square it will give us 1. So finding the value of a is as simple as adding 4 on both sides so that a is equal to 4. And now that we have our constant, we are going to be using the vertex form and replacing hk and a in our vertex form so we can find the standard form of our equation. So by now, we already know the vertex form or the equation for our parabola. We're just going to uh, modify it a bit so we can write the standard form. So x plus 2 quantity square, so uh, we can FOIL it, or we can simply square x, add 2 and 2, and product of the last term, so we'll have 4 quantity x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 4. Now, we cannot just get rid of the parentheses at this particular example because all we need to do is to substitute or distribute distribute 4 to our x squared plus 4x plus 4, which will give us 4x squared plus 16x plus 16 minus 4. And by simplifying our equation, we'll have 4x squared plus 16x plus 12. And this is now the standard form of our parabola. So given two points, now we're able to find the value of our standard form of the equation by using our algebra scale. And using our technology, we'll be able to verify if our answer is correct. So this is our vertex form, quantity x plus 2 squared times 4 minus 4. So this is the parabola where the vertex is at negative 2 and negative 4. And one of the x-intercepts was negative 3 and 0, and we know that this is correct if our standard form, which we calculated, will overlap our existing parabola. And you will see that the parabola is now changing colors because we have the same parabola. It's just that one is in vertex form and the other one is in standard form. And this is how we work with problems involving parts of our quadratic equation and working backwards so that we can provide the equation of this parabola. So our number bender challenge for today is I want you to write the standard form of this quadratic equation given by the vertex and a point in this parabola. So that is what you're going to be working on. So write this down in the comment box below. Let's see if you can find the vertex form and the standard form of this parabola given two important points that you can locate from this equation. So this is our lesson on uh, how to work backwards given the graph now we're able to write the equation of the parabola with uh, the points or clues that are given to us and using the formula for the vertex form of the quadratic and modifying it into its standard form. Because in mathematics, we're not only learning how to do things, we're also learning how to undo things. This is Dr. E, and see you again next time. Bye!